This is the Protex slide rail shoring system, a high capacity modular deep trench and pit shoring system used largely as an economical alternative to conventional tight sheeting methods using wood or steel. The system is also used in large excavations where poor soil conditions call for full soil support. And the system is ideal for deep cuts that are in close proximity to roads, buried utilities, or near existing structures. That's because installation is vibrationless. It is essentially a dig and push installation, which means minimal soil disturbance, so you can dig deep without having to side slope or be concerned with nearby roads, utilities, or building foundations. The system is modular in design, so you can combine various modules and end up with a wide array of square and rectangular configurations, such as large clear span excavations, pipeline installations, boring pits, precast concrete structures, tank installations, cast in place concrete. This job has Protex exclusive railing post system installed a unique guardrail device that enhances the safety factor of job site personnel. And there are many other applications. The Protex slide rail system is designed and manufactured to provide superior structural strength and durability. Panels have additional horizontal and vertical structural members. Cutout track design permits faster, safer panel positioning. No more lifting panels to tops of post for system installation and Protex exclusive quick release mechanism increases the safety factor in addition to saving time. Using Protex panel alignment tool, installation of the last corner post in a four-sided system can be handled efficiently. Once the panels are in the correct position, workers are able to install the final corner post quickly and easily. The complete system consists of five basic components. Panels, corner posts, spreader posts, or sometimes called linear rails, spreader beams, and roller beams. Looking straight down from the top, here is what the corner post looks like. Note outer and inner tracks. Panels slide vertically in these tracks. Again, viewed from the top, this is what the spreader post or linear rails look like. Just as with the corner post, spreader posts or linear rails have an inner and outer track to accommodate the panels. In addition, the inside face is slotted to accept rolling spreader beams. Spreader beams are used as horizontal bracing between spreader posts. These beams can be moved vertically to allow adjustable clearances to be achieved during the excavating processes needed for installation of the system. Also, the adjustable clearance allows for accommodation of large diameter pipe, boring machines, small excavating machines, and cast in place underground footings, just to name a few. Because of its modular design, the entire system can be installed quickly and efficiently using a medium-sized excavator and a small crew. As a result, cost of material, time, and labor is significantly reduced. Now, let's take a look at a typical Protex slide rail shoring system installation. A pilot cut is made that is deep enough and wide enough to allow the first panel and the first corner post to be put into place. A second panel is placed at a right angle to the first one. and check to make sure the angle is correct. This procedure is repeated with each corner post and panel as needed. With corner posts in place, panels are placed in the outer rails. Excavating continues. And as the excavation deepens, panels are pushed down to the desired depth with the excavator. A 
Additional panels are added to the inside tracks and panels are pushed down as excavation continues. Using this method, panels are installed at the depth required for the job using the excavator bucket or Protex exclusive panel installation tool, which solves the problem of having limited access to panel push points, thereby increasing both the speed and effectiveness of installation. Removal is safe and easy since the system is removed from the bottom up. The first step in removal begins by backfilling and compacting as inside panels are removed one by one, with the last panel that was installed being the first to be removed. After all panels are removed, the corner posts and spreader posts, or linear rails, are extracted. How Protex slide rail system was used as an economical alternative to tight sheeting was aptly demonstrated on this oil separator tank installation. Because the tank measured 34 feet long and 10 feet in diameter, a clear span excavation measuring 40 feet long, 16 feet wide, and 22 feet deep was made. Note the outside whalers and tiebacks used to support the tops of the spreader posts. A completely clear span was needed for tank placement so cross bracing beams were removed once the external whalers were installed. Note the interior dimensions of the system were kept to a minimum. That's because Protex slide rail system does not use internal whalers that get in the way as systems are assembled and installed, saving both time and money. Once the tank was placed, backfilling proceeded while the panels and posts were removed incrementally. Again, no internal whalers to be removed or disassembled. Here is another excellent example of how Protex slide rail shoring system was used to solve a problem involving a manhole that had to be installed extremely close to an existing building. Using Protex vibrationless dig and push method of installation, the contractor was able to dig 22 feet deep to create an excavation that measured 13 feet square. Four foot stacking panels were pinned on top of the others using connecting brackets. This slide rail installation was used in poor soil conditions in close proximity to railroad tracks to permit pouring a concrete foundation for a large pump station. In this situation, Spreader frames were used in both directions. This is easier to dig around and install versus internal whalers being in the way. Plus the internal dimensions can be kept to closer tolerances. Spreader frames keep posts perfectly parallel with each other. Unlike cheaper designs that use sloppy spreader pipes that allow the spreader post or linear rails to tow in during the excavating and get stuck. The excavation measured 28 feet by 28 feet and was 20 feet deep. Two different size panels were used, 8 feet high by 14 feet long and 8 feet by 12 feet long. Because the Protex slide rail shoring system is modular in design, various lengths, widths and depths can be accommodated. This job involved a 20-foot deep excavation that was 16 feet long. Panels were stacked to provide full depth protection. Poor soil conditions contributed to the problems involved on this job. To review quickly, the Protex slide rail shoring system is ideal for use in confined and congested areas where poor soil conditions exist, near existing utility lines, and near foundations and buildings. Remember, the complete system consists of only five basic components. Panels, corner posts, spreader posts or linear rails, spreader beams, and roller beams. And because it is modular, the system can be installed quickly and cost effectively using a medium-sized excavator and a small crew.
With a ProTex slide rail shoring system, you get on-the-job installation instruction service, job-specific drawings, and engineering if needed. All ProTex slide rail systems are fabricated to your specifications in a modern, state-of-the-art, made-in-the-USA manufacturing facility. The ProTex slide rail shoring system.